Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at people reveal what they are still mad about. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. I had a pencil in 5th grade that I had bought for 50 cents from a vending machine. It just so happens the girl next to me lost an identical pencil earlier in the day. She told the teacher I took her pencil. I explained I had bought it and even had my friend back me up because he saw me buy it. The teacher made me give my pencil to the girl. I'm still infuriated with rage. That was a good pencil. What a teacher, you know? You don't listen to both sides of the story and like what? They're just gonna give someone else's pencil to someone else just because they lost it? Oh my gosh, this reminds me. When I was in primary school, this chick said I stole her scissors. But I didn't even... <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'm mad about that too, okay? <laughs> I still think about it sometimes because I ended up crying, okay? She was saying I stole her scissors and then she told everyone I stole her scissors. I don't even know what her scissors look like. Honestly though, I think she just hated me or something, but seriously, I'm still mad about that. And then I think she ended up finding her scissors in her pencil case or something. Why are you gonna accuse someone when you haven't even checked yet? If I were gonna steal something, it wouldn't be scissors. <laughs> Like, there's so much cool stationery, you know what I mean? Like, scissors out of everything? You think I'm gonna steal scissors? Oh, that still makes me mad. Yeah, it makes me mad. I have so many things when I was a kid I'm still mad about, honestly. I quit my stressful job to work at a kennel with the hopes I could use that experience to start a career in animal care. Those people did not tell me it was a seasonal job, was not advertised as such, was never brought up, got let go after the holidays, Worked on Thanksgiving, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and for what? Wow. How could they not tell you that it was a seasonal job, you know? Shouldn't they tell you? It's okay, at least you got to like chill with some animals and made the day, you know? You were a good person, okay? Just know that you were a good person. In second grade, I had this ginormous crush on a boy in my class. I wrote, I love Ryan in the back of my favorite book. My friend Bethany asked if she could read the book and I let her borrow it and forgot about my ultra secret written in the back. Later that day, Bethany raised her hand and goes, Teacher, why does Katie's book say I love Ryan in it? <gasps> I died. Resurrected. Died again. Do you guys think she knew? Do you guys think she did that so she could embarrass Katie? Oh my gosh, but they're in second grade. Oh my gosh, if she actually did that on purpose, wow, you a real snake, eh? <laughs> no, seriously, in second grade and they're already like this, but if she didn't know, then okay, yo kid, I forgive you. <laughs> I forgive you on behalf of the girl. <laughs> no, seriously though, that's so embarrassing. This does remind me of something else <laughs> that I'm still mad about, okay? When I was a kid, I think I was like in year three or something, I think when I was like eight years old or something, okay? I liked this guy and then I told this girl that I liked him, okay? And then she told him that I liked him, but she also had to tell him that she liked him too. <laughs> I'm so confused though because, you know, I was just like, I mean, if you like him, then you tell him that you like him. Like, I'm gonna tell him I like him by myself, okay? In the end, I didn't like him anymore. When I was in high school, we had a talent show, only in the years 2008 and 2009 for some reason. I've been a musician since I was seven. I'm 28 now. So I knew this was my time to show. The prize was something stupid. I think like $25 gift card to Wawa that was in our school. I don't know what that is, but okay. Yes, you read that right. But I didn't care about the prize. I like praise. I like getting rewarded for something that I really know I'm good at. I like getting praised by strangers more than I like getting praised by my own family. I wanted the fame. <laughs> I love how they put that in caps. The 2008 talent show rolls around. I'm performing the DHT version of Listen to Your Heart, singing and playing piano at the same time. At this point, I've been playing piano for almost 10 years and have been taking voice lessons for five years. I know for a fact I have this in the bag. I go out on the stage. I belt my heart out. I don't miss a page turn, and I nail every single note on that keyboard. I'm on cloud nine. They give the prize to a trio of two stepping girls with terrible harmony singing freaking Mama, I'm a big girl now from Hairspray. And halfway through, one of them forgets the words. I'm upset, but no big deal. There's always next year. Oh, 
The 2009 talent show was fire. I had just gotten dumped and knew my ex was going to be in the audience of the talent show. I did the same thing that I did last year, but this time the song was Miserable at Best by Mayday Parade. I cried during my performance and the audience is on their feet. People are coming backstage to tell me how talented I am. They can feel the emotion, the usual stuff. They give the prize to the same group of girls. It's been over 10 years now and I still have people tell me to this day that I should have won both years and I'm still salty about it. I have enough tears to feel the Dead Sea. <laughs> Yo, why did the girls keep winning though? Like what? And they forgot the lyrics too. Really? Back in primary school, I watched a lot of dinosaur documentaries, so I knew a lot about them. So one day, our teacher made us answer questions about a news article about a T-Rex fossil which was found. And one of the questions was, why was a T-Rex such an effective hunter? So I said stuff like their good eyesight, strong bite, and how they could smell very well. And that was apparently the wrong answer because the correct answer was because they were really big. Huh. I think it's cause they're so young, you know? They were expecting a kid answer. <laughs> and this kid is like, good eyesight, strong bite, and how they can smell really well. But I do feel like he shouldn't have got a marked wrong for it. I feel like, you know, both answers should be correct, but okay. My old housemate who broke into my room and stole like 500 euro worth of brand new stuff I had just bought on holidays. I considered her a friend and still feel violated by the betrayal. Even worse is I called the police and made a report and I still didn't get my stuff back because she hid it and denied it. Makes me so upset thinking about it years later. Well, well, you just can't trust nobody. 30 years ago in kindergarten, I got marked down for not coloring something white, even though it was on white paper. I asked, how can you tell? And was told I can feel there was no crayon. Yo. They should reward the kid for being smart, you know? You know what I mean? Like, that's already white. What's the point? It's just like if the paper was black, what's the point of coloring it in black? This is the kind of thing that pisses me off too. When teachers have to like follow something right by the book kind of thing, you know? Like, come on, come on, come on. The kid did nothing wrong. One time they had my total owed wrong. I could do the math easily in my head and did it several times for the worker, but they just kept telling me that's not what it says. Oh my gosh, I hate it when this happens, you know? Like, you know it's wrong, and then in the end, you keep telling them to check it over and over, and then they're like, oh, oh my bad, you were right. Yeah, you were right. I normally do not confront people for myself, but if it's for someone, then I confront people for them. You know, isn't that weird? Because I'm like a pretty shy person, right? And even ordering food is like hard for me, okay? I have to like rehearse it like 10,000 times in my head. <laughs> but if there's someone more shy than I am, then I'm like the bigger person, you know? Then I'm like, oh, you're more shy? Oh, you know what? I got this. I can order this for you, you know? If they get your order wrong, I got you. Like if someone is more shy than I am, I become confident. <laughs> you know, like for them, because I'm like, you know what, it's okay, I got this, I can handle this for you. Yeah, it's weird, I don't know why. So yeah, I feel like the only time I can confront someone is if they did my friend wrong or something, you know? But if they did me wrong, then I'd be like, okay, it's okay then, it's okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> that time, my math teacher took points off of my test because I wrote the fraction answer like half and not directly one on top of the other. Oh, like one slash two and not one over two. I mean, they're both technically the same, aren't they? I mean, I feel like the teacher shouldn't have taken the point off the test if that was the answer, you know? If the answer is half and they wrote half. Like, you knew what they were trying to write, okay? Like, what the heck? Okay, I'm just confused. Some teachers do make me mad. A lady confronted me at a supermarket because her child scared me when he screamed. I jumped and apparently that was enough to offend her and her husband. She told me to shop online if I can't handle screaming kids. I told her to get over it and walked away. What? What? Your kid scared someone and you're not going to apologize, huh? You're going to be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you got scared by my kid. <laughs> what in the world? Like, 
she thinks she owns the world or something. First day of high school, I forgot my lunch. When I finally came home from school, I was ready to absolutely devour that lunch. I could have eaten a horse. I was so hungry. Unfortunately, when I opened the fridge, it was gone. I yelled, who ate my lunch? And my sister immediately copped to it. I can't remember exactly what happened afterwards. Likely a lot of whining on my part and her making excuses. Oh, she probably just thought that was like some leftovers or something. I don't know. It's always the worst when you're looking forward to food and then you come home and find out it's eaten by someone else. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.